What's up, guys? My name is Luke. I am the Offensive Yak, and thank you for joining me today for the very first episode of Two Point Campus. So let's roll the intro and get on into making our perfect school. All right, guys, so Two Point Campus is just a fun little game that uh, it's from the makers of Two Point Hospital, uh, which I'm also going to be making a little series on. This is going to be a series that just runs randomly. Uh, I'm making it as part of having a little bit of a backlog for weeks that I get busy and whatnot, so I don't even know when this is going to come out. I'm, I'm filming it early December of 2022. It might come out in a couple of weeks when my family comes for Christmas, or who knows, it could be, you know, sometime next year. So uh, let's just do a new game, and uh, I'll let you guys watch the little intro here. All right, so uh, my definite ultimate goal is absolutely going to be to make a Hogwarts, basically. Uh, but we're going to have to get to that point, because we're going to follow the storyline here. So, all right, here we go. Welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank, your own personal advisor, and I'm here to help. You may not have any experience as a campus administrator, but the people of Freshly County College are eager to give you a chance. I'm not sure what that says about them, but hey, let's head to Fresh Lime Meadows and get started on your academic empire. That's right, it is going to be an empire. Ah, this countryside college has low expectations and a nice canal. It's the perfect place to start your career. I start with half a million dollars. All right. Campus Management 101, this Countryside College has low expectations and a nice car- uh, didn't we already read that? <laughs> a university is not something that one simply opens, like a savings account or a jar of pickles. Any self-respecting academic institution was doubtlessly opened long ago by dignified people who wore bowler hats and spoke via subtitle, The world is a creation of the past. And it is our job to keep it all going and try not to touch anything. <laughs> I like that. Try not to touch anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, Scientography. I thought that said Scientology. I'm like, oh, what is this game? <laughs> Welcome to Fresh Lay Meadows, where life moves slowly and expectations are lowly. The Two Point Countryside is a perfect place to start your career, learn the ropes, make mistakes, and hit the ground smiling. Okay. To stay Welcome to campus. Before you start churning out geniuses, you'll need to learn the basics of campus management. Uh, try moving the camera and having a look around. So it looks like zoom is my mouse wheel. Uh, rotate is mouse button, uh, pan is your WASD, and pitch is also middle mouse button. Okay. Our campus is going to be running a Scientography course. Let's start by building a science lab. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll start up in this corner. And it needs to be a 5x5. Five five. 
Okay. And we need a door. I guess the door can go right there. We need some easels. Sure. Oh, this thing's big. Uh, I can go there. Distracted students should pretend okay. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. Science lab level one. Now let's hire a teacher to run our first Scientography class. Uh, looks like... This is the teacher I've got available. There we go. Great work. Now we have everything we need to run our Scientography class. When you're ready, select Start Next Year and you're welcome our first year of students. All right, we'll start the year. And we're also going to go fast speed. <laughs> the students are arriving. Uh, are you nervous? Why am I nervous? <laughs> uh, I do want to go to settings here real quick. And we're going to turn down the music a bit. Yeah. That's a little better. And let's make sure... Uh, good. We're running at high frame rate. No frame rate limit. All right, and auto save every month. Yeah, sure, that sounds good. Okay. Cool. Here come our students. The sound of two point counting on two point radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio, the place your ears call home. Look at that, the students are in their very first class. Who knows what will happen? We kick down the door and go straight for the valuables, soak in some sonic excellence. Play that track and we'll be right back. Oh, they're heating something up. Looks like some magma cubes that are explodey. Uh, as the students learn, they will gain experience points or XP, which will increase their academic level. This guy totally looks like a vampire. Is he a vampire? Uh, I'm thinking he's a vampire. I mean, he's a goth, but he's got bats behind him in the picture. <laughs> But agrees to disagree with direct sunlight. Yeah, I think he's a vampire. <laughs> okay, we completed our science class. They did it. The students passed their first class. Sadly, they didn't do all that well. It seems a number of them were distracted by one another or one need or the other. A student that has everything they need will be more happy, less distracted, and be able to focus on their studies in an enthusiastic and cheerful haze. Okay. The students' needs, such as their thirst or toilet comfort, will affect their overall happiness. Happy students perform better in classes and earn more XP. Take a look at our students to see what we can do to improve the campus. Okay. Uh, the key to campus hospitality is to remember the three R's. Students need somewhere to relax themselves, to rest themselves, and to relieve themselves. Sure, two of those might be the same thing, but it does sound convincing. Let's build a dormitory and a bathroom to keep people comfortable. Okay. Yeah, we can do a dormitory. How about this corner looks pretty good for a dorm. Let's see, it just needs to be two by two. I say we go there, and I'm gonna put the door here. And then I will need a wardrobe. Can I rotate this somehow? I wanna... Hmm. R doesn't seem to do it. Um, hold on. Here, for, for now, we'll just put the wardrobe over here, and it also needs at least a bed. 
That's good enough for now. We can add more later. I do need to go to our controls because I need to know rotate clockwise is Q. <laughs> okay, and now anti-clockwise is E. Okay. Sure. In the news today, we'll go with that. <laughs> I seem to have sat on something sharp. We're not sure exactly what it is or what the consequences might be. All right, dormitories are a great place for students to relax when they're low on energy. One bed must uh, between five students is considered normal on campus. Uh, you know, I went to college not not for long. I never did finish my degree, but that was not a normal ratio. One bed to five students. We definitely all had our own beds. <laughs> uh, students may dream of having their own bed, but they'll happily share with a few friends. Okay then. Sure. And then I think we're going to put the bathroom over here. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, door here? Sure. And... Oh, that definitely just rotates the camera. Um, okay. Stand by. We gotta find this. Uh... Doo -doo -doo. Um, let's see. I would assume there's a keyboard shortcut for it. Rotate item clockwise and anti-clockwise Z and X. Okay. We'll update you as soon as we know more. Can so you see it? Is it in me? Z and me. X will rotate. Ah, there we go. Okay, and let's just uh, let's just do some bathroom stuff down the line here. Sure, and then I guess a few sinks, and maybe hand dryer on each side. How about hand sanitizer? Sure. That looks like a good bathroom. And then we're going to go ahead and edit this room. Because I definitely want to add some more beds. Um, Let's see. I also want to pick up and move this. Now that I can rotate it, <laughs> we'll put it here. Uh, because I want to put another bed over here. Oh, uh, can we not fit a bed frame there? Oh, stand by. Here, we're just gonna... Do that, and here we go. Bed. That's weird, it won't let you get quite as close there. That's okay, it's good enough. That should be enough for a good amount of students there. Let's put a few desks in, give them a few places to study. Yeah, four seems good. And then I'm going to put a couple more ro wardrobes in. And then whatever this thing is. Maybe a hand sanitizer. Here, you can have a couple of plants right in the middle. Um, yeah, that looks, that looks good. Uh, did you hear that? I think our students might be hungry. Traditionally, campuses offer a little range of food and drink to, you know, you sustain know, life. Sat at a sprig of holly from yesterday's lunch. That's the risk you run when adding a little <laughs> pizzazz to your meal. Uh, let's add some stuffy. vending machines. It's not the first piece of holly I've sat on, and it certainly won't be the last. I think here we could add a couple of vending machines. Sure. That looks good. Uh, if it were up to the students, I'm sure we'd all be living in our own filth. Luckily, we have a little to say in that matter. Let's hire a janitor. 
All right, we're gonna have to turn down a few of these game sounds again. I don't know what Tannoy is. I want the DJ gone though. All right. So let's hire us up a janitor. Do we want makes themselves smile, so plus four percent happiness, or do we want boost movement speed, or do we want to spend a little bit more and get maintenance skill? I think we're gonna get Melinda here. Boom, janitor. Also, we're definitely gonna want to put some trash cans there and there, and we're gonna put one in there. And you know, one in the bathroom is probably a good idea. Maybe a couple in there. We'll put one outside their room. Yeah, okay, we're gonna see how they do in their next class. This one looks like it's a lecture instead of a lab. I think we're definitely gonna wanna, wanna move this room though at some point. Take a look at this canal. I like these uh, these narrow boats. You know, I'm watching a series right now on YouTube from a guy called Downey Live. Highly recommend him if you like any sort of travel videos. Uh, and no, this is not an actual collab. He's just literally just somebody I've been watching. But he's currently traveling in Europe on some rented narrow boats. And I, I think it's definitely a vacation that I want to do in the future. Oh, well done, those students look smarter already. The better they do, the more money you'll have to fund the campus. Who's smart now? Yes, you receive tuition fees from all students enrolled in courses at the campus, as well as a bonus for how much XP they're earning. Okay. Satisfying student needs is just one way to improve our grades. Next on the agenda is a spot of studying. Luckily, the students have been given their first assignments. Completing assignments is a great way for students to earn XP away from the classroom. Though it looks like they need some new facilities. Check the inbox to see what they need. All right, let's go to our inbox. Library required. Okay, so this person here needs a library and three other people agree. Yeah, okay, we can build a library. Um, this looks like a good spot. It looks like it needs to be a three by three. We'll go ahead and make it a four by three. Yeah, I think that's good. And we're gonna put the door over here. And then, looks like we'll put our library thing there. We'll put a bookshelf there. I'm also gonna put a computer there, maybe. A reading thing there, a more different reading thing there, uh, this other bookshelf thingy here, um, one of these things, let's go ahead and put a bin, and here, have a couple of plants. <laughs> Every room's just gonna get a couple of plants in the middle. <laughs> And it looks like this, oh yes, we need to get an assistant. Okay, so it looks like these both have library management plus five, but this one will make them happy. You know, let's just wait for this new applicant, see what we got here. Um, chance to provide comic relief. And yeah, I think we're gonna go with, with uh, Logan here, uh, Logan Flavor. Uh, 5% learning boost and a chance to provide comic relief. Here you go, in the library. Some of our students are completing an assignment in the library. Completing an assignment is a great way to earn XP outside the classroom. Yeah, you already told me that. <laughs> okay, looks like my inbox is good to go. There we go, completed the assignment. See how the students do in their next class. So we need to pass a Scientography class with a grade B. Okay, looks like the class is currently running.
So this teacher's feeling tired. Oh, and ah, monthly income report. Looks like we profited 10 grand. Well, all right. Ah, uh, what do you need or want? So you're bored, and you have the hostile trait? Okay. Hmm. Learning rate at 150%. That's pretty darn gone good. Okay, looks like we passed our class. Your students have gone from a C grade jumps to B grade brain heads. Let's recap how you did it, shall we? All right, provide better staff and facilities to improve your students' grades, make students happy and comfortable to increase their learning rate, and earn more cash by growing your campus and enrolling more students. I understand. All right, and it looks like we profited almost eight grand that time round. Congratulations, you've earned some kudosh for completing objectives. Are those supposed to be like kudos? Uh, spend kudosh to unlock new items as well as staff outfits and interior design options. Okay. Yeah, it looks like these are all kudosh locked. Partition wall. A uh, false horizon. <laughs> okay. Is that a fountain? No, it's a rug. Okay. Well, we'll see what we need. Oh, it, it wants me to unlock an item. Okay. Uh, let's unlock. Let's see, we have 230 kadosh. Let's go ahead and unlock this vending machine here. Uh, it's expensive, but or not a vending machine. It's a gaming machine. Uh, we'll go ahead and put one out. Cool. And so now we've unlocked the staff room. All right. Three students have personal goals. Okay, let's take a look here. So there's our February profits. So three students want a student lounge. Okay, I can probably do that. So I need to build a staff room though. First, staff room. Um, maybe over here it's got to be a three by two. We'll give them a five by two. Um, actually, I want to move the door to here. Yeah, because then I can put another room over here. Okay, uh, and then let's give him a couch. Let's see, they can have a couch here. We'll give him a couple of chairs. Uh, maybe a table. Here, you can have this, whatever it is. I'll give you a couple of vending machines that are staff only. I'm gonna give you a little uh, pinball-y machine, darts, and uh, we can't forget our plant in the middle of the room. Okay, looks like a level four staff room, okay. Uh, and then we need to employ five staff members. So, uh, I think we're gonna start by getting ourselves another janitor or two. Let's get just a basic janitor. And let's see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get a Billy so we can teach more classes. And uh, I think, was that all the staff members I needed? It is, okay, cool. All right. So let's go ahead and build a student lounge. Uh, and I think the student lounge is gonna go here. Yeah, we'll make it a fairly good size one too. So door over here. 
Uh, let's see. We're gonna put in microwave sink. Uh, here have a dartboard right in front of the microwave. Uh, that way, um, if you want to cook anything, you gotta face a little bit of danger. Also, I'm gonna throw a bin in that room. Um, do a fridge. They can have vending machines. And one of these guys. Students eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat. Uh, definitely gonna put a couple of plants right there. You know, make a nice wall between the, between the, <laughs> the, the, uh, tables there. And, yeah, a couple of those. Here, you can have a single lamp. That looks good. Okay. And then I need a level three science lab. Yeah, we'll get to that. Okay. So, there's a relationship item request between Felix and Henrietta. Oh no, I've been slow but sure, slowly but surely developing romantic feelings for my friend. Life, eh? Uh, they want a double jump bed. Uh, it's four grand and 150 kudos points. You know what? Sure. I'm a romantic. Uh, I'm just gonna have to move this stuff here. And this guy can go over here. And then we'll go ahead and get the... Uh, wherever the double jump bed is. Uh, not corridor items. There we go. Double jump bed. Let's put it there. That'll make them happy. And then somebody else wants the car booth. You know what? I'll unlock the car booth. It goes in here. Invalid room for car booth? Where does the car booth go? Uh, in the corridor. Okay. Car booth can go right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, we finished the academic year. Well, okay. Let's see. 84% average results. Nobody failed. You know, that's pretty darn good. Summer break is the perfect time to prepare for the year ahead. Build facilities, make unsustainable design choices, and bask in last year's glory. I'm absolutely going to bask in last year's glory. Uh, let's expand our range of courses by starting a virtual normality course. Well, okay. Virtual normality. Uh, soon we'll have another group of students joining the campus. It's important to expand with our ever-growing student body. And buy a new plot for your second year on campus. Ooh, a new plot. Let's see. I believe I can buy this plot or this plot. I think that's it. Do I want this one or over here? Hmm. I think this one. I could buy it empty or I could buy it with buildings for only five grand more. Uh, or this one, it's the same price and it's a smaller plot. I think we'll go with this one. All right, so it looks like they tear everything down. Make it dirt, and then add grass, and then add a building. Yeah, that's not how building works. You don't build on top of grass, <laughs> but okay. Uh, so yeah, so it looks like we got another pretty good-sized building there. 
Uh, be sure to check unresolved campus requirements. Okay, so we're definitely gonna be moving this lecture hall right here. Um, can I pick up the room? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. And we're gonna go ahead and expand it to be that size. And then this and this can be moved. Then we'll move this back here. Let's see what else I can add to this room. Uh, we could throw some TVs back here. And maybe on the sides. And a uh, couple of plants. Because why not? <laughs> Gotta have the plants, right? Okay. And then I need... So I need a second lecture theater. Uh, it's got to be at least four by four. We'll go that size. And we're going to make this one opposite. We're going to put it over there and put this over here. Door on the side. And then we're going to add a couple of uh, A bin. We're going to add TVs here and here. We're going to add a couple of plants. Rooms wouldn't be complete without the plants. There we go, lecture theater. Now we need a VR lab. That looks like it's gotta be at least five by four. Oh yes, we can't place here. Um, Cancel. Cause I need to move uh, this door. I need to move this over so that I can put the door here. Yeah, a little off center, but you know what? That's okay. It's fine. Uh, we might need some more janitors. Okay, good. Good to know. I can get some more janitors. Um, those guys are expensive, but they're also very good at fixing things. So we're gonna hire one of them. We're also gonna hire the cheapest janitor there is. Okay. Uh, now we can go ahead and build this VR lab. We'll just make it that big and the door can go here. Whoa, that's big. Okay, so that and maybe two of these VR chairs. Um, I think we can put a couple of these guys, maybe one of them. Eh, let's turn that around. And uh, a couple of plants. <laughs> And then we need to go ahead and move these. And this. We can move this over here. Put bins here. Uh oh yeah, let's uh let's get our plants. <laughs> Gotta have the plants, you know. Uh okay, and then we need a virtual normality teacher. Uh, looks like they're all about the same. So, there we go. Okay, let's see. They want a tree bench. You yeah, know what? I can get a tree bench. It can go... We'll put... We'll put two tree benches down. You know? Okay. Okay. Well, guys, we got through our first year. Uh, I think we're going to call it there, though. My name is Luke. I am the Offensive Yak. Thank you for having joined me today. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe if you're liking, and come check us out on the next episode, and we'll see where we go from here. Oh, Offensive Yak out.